On paper, Jefferson County looks like a good place to live. Low poverty rates, a middle-class median household income, and decent schools in most of the towns. What doesn't show on paper is that during a period of time from the early 2000s to around 2016, Jefferson County, Missouri was considered to be the meth capital of the United States. Festus and Crystal Meth, I mean, Crystal City, are both a half-hour drive south of St. Louis. Oh, and by the way, if you haven't seen this already, there's a link down below that shows you an interactive map on all of the places that I've made videos on. It's really easy to use. All you have to do is click on the link to the map, and then click on a pin that will take you to a link of said place. Festus and Crystal City are known locally as the Twin Cities. Both cities are in Jefferson County, which is a part of the greater St. Louis area. Well, let's get to it. Shall we? I start the video at the local Walmart, which is on the southeastern side of the two cities. If you're unfamiliar with my videos, I do speed up my videos in order to show more in a less amount of time. You can always keep up with the real time that it takes me to drive in the lower left corner of the screen. If I go too fast for you, or if you think that I'm going too slow, you can always adjust the playback speed by selecting the gear icon if you're watching on PC, or by selecting the three dotted menu if you're watching on a mobile device. Isn't YouTube great? Also really quick, as if you enjoy this video, make sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe, as doing all of those things helps these videos out with the YouTube algorithm. Also make sure to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time that I upload a new video of an area near you. If you enjoyed this video, you might enjoy checking out some of the featured playlists on my channel. Videos on other places like Festus and Crystal City can be found in my St. Louis Suburbs playlist, my Mississippi River playlist, or my Missouri playlist. Last but not least, if you can't get enough of me on here, you can always go follow my other social media accounts, and those links are below. After looking at the stats on paper, Festus seems like an alright place. The city hasn't seen a population loss between census counts in modern times, and today it's home to 12,000 residents, which is a 4% increase from 2010. The median household income here is $55,000 per year, and the poverty rate is 7%. That's lower than Jefferson County's average of $65,000 per year, but $55,000 in annual median household income is still respectable. 20% of the city's residents hold a bachelor's degree or higher, and the median value of owner-occupied housing is $137,000. The violent crime rate here is slightly above average, but the property crime rate is slightly below average, and Niche.com gives the public schools of Festus an A, so it seems to be a good place to raise a family. And just like that, we find ourselves in downtown Festus. It seems as if most of the storefronts are occupied with very few vacancies, so that's good. However, there's nothing here really that stood out to me if I were being honest. I'll do my typical normal drive down the main street here, and then I'll rewind and slow down to get some better shots of both sides of the streetscape.
Festus was incorporated as a city in 1887. The first name of the city was called Tanglefoot, and that was because in its early days there were several bars, or saloons, that opened up shop in town. Nearby Crystal City, which we'll get to later, was actually established before Festus was, even though Festus is larger than Crystal City is today. Crystal City was home to a glass factory, which I'll get into more later, but the company didn't want anyone drinking alcohol within a one mile radius of the company, therefore Festus was established, or should I say, Tanglefoot, and the first businesses were bars and saloons. After a while, the town was renamed to Limitville. Not sure why that would be, but shortly after it was called Festus in an attempt at having a more desirable name for the town. Just like nearly every other city or town in the Midwest, Festus has a nice collection of older built churches. We've already seen a few and we'll continue to see more throughout the rest of this video. On paper, Jefferson County looks like a good place to live. Low poverty rates, a middle class median household income, and decent schools in most of the towns. What doesn't show on paper is that during a period of time from the early 2000s to around 2016, Jefferson County, Missouri was considered to be the meth capital of the United States, or at least an area that had one of the highest counts of meth labs per capita in the country. In 2012, Missouri had more meth labs than any other state, as 1,825 meth labs were found by officials. The same article from 2013 reported that there were 472 meth busts in Jefferson County over a period of eight years. Only one county in the country had a higher number, and that was Tulsa County in Oklahoma, with over 900. Tulsa County, Oklahoma is also home to three times the amount of people that live in Jefferson County, Missouri. Therefore, Jefferson County had the higher number of meth lab seats per capita. Anyway, after some laws passed through in 2006, it became harder for individuals to cook meth. Today you don't necessarily find meth labs as much as you used to in the United States 10 years ago, but in areas like Jefferson County, the usage is either just as high as it has always been, or it's even higher today. In current times, meth is now imported from Mexico and distributed throughout the country, and that makes it harder for officials to track down, but easier for drug addicts to get a hold of. Today, even though meth lab seizures might be down, it's expected that meth usage in Jefferson County is continuing to grow.
earlier, I mentioned that Jefferson County is a part of the Greater St. Louis area, which includes 11 counties total, plus St. Louis City, which doesn't belong to any county. The population of Greater St. Louis is 2.8 million, making it the 20th largest metro area in the U.S., at least for now. While the metro area has continued to see population growth rather than population decline, it only saw a growth rate of 0.56%, which isn't really that high. Recently, both the Tampa and Denver metro areas have grown to have larger populations than Greater St. Louis, Baltimore, Charlotte, and Orlando, plus a few others are all on pace to surpass St. Louis as well by the next census count. Also of note, while Jefferson County hasn't seen a population decline between census counts in modern times, it only saw one that's estimated to be at 2.9% over the last 10 years, which is the lowest percentage increase of population growth that the county has seen. Technically now we're in Crystal Meth, I mean, Crystal City. Crystal City is home to 4,700 residents, which is down 3% from the 2010 census count. It's been the only population decline reported since the city's founding. The median household income here is $51,000 per year, slightly below the $55,000 annual median household income of Festus. The median value of owner-occupied housing units is $130,000. The violent crime rate is below average, while the property crime rate is above average at 3,400 for every 100,000 residents. The public schools here are given a B grade by niche.com. Don't ask what I'm doing in a back alleyway because I really don't know. Now we hit a stretch of Brick Street and up ahead is downtown Crystal City. Originally, Crystal City was called New Detroit, founded about 27 miles south of St. Louis. Back in 1868, newcomers to the area found that the natural resources of the area were prime for making glass. The American Plate Glass Company was founded here by a man from Detroit in 1871. The name Crystal City comes from it being a glass factory town. Today, there is no longer a glass factory here, and the original glass factory is no longer standing.
Technically, I leave the Festus city limits before coming back into the city limits shortly after. Currently, we're on the far western side of Festus, and it seems as if this is where most of the newer housing is located. Now I'm passing by the middle school.
Here it looks like the elementary school is to the right and the intermediate school is to the left. And last but not least, the high school is now on the left. <laughs> Here is an extremely small underpass to try and fit through. Bye. 
And I do end the video here as we are now in Herculaneum. That sounds like some kind of uh, nuclear chemical. Nonetheless, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe as doing all of those things helps these videos out with the YouTube algorithm. Also make sure to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time that I upload a new video of an area near you. If you enjoyed this video, you might enjoy checking out some of the featured playlists on my channel. Videos on other places like Festus and Crystal City can be found in my St. Louis Suburbs playlist, my Missouri playlist, or my Mississippi River playlist. Last but not least, if you can't get enough of me on here, you can always go follow me on my other social media accounts and those links are below. We'll see you next time. Peace!